So we're still working off the same trace file. Um, basically, I would suggest in the real world, a uh, good workflow to have. You get a trace, first thing, save it, right? As part of saving it, I would always encourage you to use the file comments icon down here in the bottom. And it brings up this capture file properties dialog box. And right here is this capture file comments. And this is where you state it's directly connected to my laptop with an ethernet cable, uh, no switch, no hub, uh, model XYZ of the actual camera, that kind of stuff. Put it all in there, okay? It'll help you document it and you won't have to keep track of one more piece of documentation. Now, we talked a little bit about this 18 byte field, basically says it's online. And we could see his IP is 192.168.1.131. We also saw that DHCP was trying to find a DHCP server. It won't, obviously it's connected to my PC. So after that, it fails and uses a static IP. I can also guess that it also has a default gateway. How do I know that? Well, down here, you can see him ARPing for 192.168.1.1. Tell me his MAC address. Well, the only reason why I'd want to do that is if it had it as a default gateway. So it wants to get off the network. So I know that it's probably static, number one. Number two, that's a static IP, dot .131, and his router's 1.1. So now I can guess that stuff. So now I could try to get into this camera. So the IP is 192.168.1.131. One three one, and when I try to get into it, let me slide this over. Here you go. It says can't reach the page, and more specifically, it refused to connect. So it didn't like that. And and you can try HTTP, try HTTPS. I use the default right now. It didn't work. So the second thing I did was I said, all right. You say you want to play rough, huh? I got this. I used my Nmap scanner, and I did a port scan on it. And you can see there's three ports open on it. So that's what I did. I tried one of those ports. So we're going to try this guy first, 52211. And bang, I'm in, right? Uh, there was a login screen, but you don't need to see that. And you can see all the various ways to get into this device. So if I click sign in, there you go, sitting on my desk. <clears throat> now I'm going to see if I can do this gracefully without messing around too much. Basically, what I want to do is take this screen and just resize it because I don't know why it came up so big. There you go. And there's this um, a wrench and a screwdriver, camera configuration. And I want to just go to network settings. I want to see what it says. Basic network settings and DHCP. And there's your HTTP port. And there's your RTSP. So uh, some manufacturers are doing this now. They're giving you non-standard ports and they call it more of a security thing. I don't know how much of a security thing that is, but that's what they say. It even gives me the, the URL for the RTSP. So if you want to play it in VLC or whatever camera software you want to use. Uh, but I want to uncheck this for a moment. <clears throat> and there we are. 192.168.1.131. And there's your gateway. And it even had a DNS server in there as well. So this, <clears throat> this is all in there. And basically, we have a baseline of how this behaves when it starts up. Now, the next step would be for me to put this on a real network with a tap or a hub or span port and then watch it start up on a real network. 